Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the country on Netflix to switch between different versions. Now, as you probably know, Netflix, your Netflix account is a global account. It works uh, in most places in the world, but the um, version you get depends greatly on where you are. So, for instance, if you're in the US, you'll get a US version of Netflix. If you're in the UK, you get the UK version of Netflix and so on. Now, in many aspects of these are quite similar. For instance, all the Netflix um, paid for, licensed by themselves content um, is available across all the platforms because obviously Netflix owns all the broadcasting rights to it. Where it'll differ is when you're looking at um, different films and um, TV shows that are owned by different media companies. And there's actually quite a lot of these. Um, for instance, the US Netflix is supposedly about 30-40% bigger than some of the smaller versions of Netflix, purely because they pay big money to get the latest films and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm in the UK, and currently I get the UK version of Netflix, which is pretty good, to be honest. Um, it's got loads of films and loads of TV shows, and it, I think is believed is one of the better value net versions of Netflix. But let me show you how you can change to any version. It doesn't matter which one you want. Let's just close this, and I'll show you how. Okay, to do it, you need to take control of your IP address. Uh, now, that's quite difficult to do. In fact, your IP address is normally allocated by your ISP or whatever's allowing you to get on the internet. It's assigned by that device and you have very little control over it. But you can use something called a VPN, which I'm going to show you now. <coughs> Here we go. This one is called NordVPN, uh, which um, sits in my taskbar until I need it. And it gives me the ability to um, create VPN connections to servers all over the world. Now VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it's actually a security product really uh, but it's, it creates an encrypted channel between you and a server in a different location keeping you completely anonymous and all your information private. But it also gives you the added bonus of bypassing all these geo blocks and by taking it into your own hands. Now, when you go to Netflix, it looks up your IP address and sees where you are and then gives you that version of Netflix. If I want to switch from the U uh, UK version of Netflix to, say, the Japan, I'd need a J Japanese IP address. Now, I can't get one directly, but I can connect to a Japanese VPN server, which I'm going to show you now. Now, this is NordVPN. As I say, you can either go and click on the country. If you're bypassing... Um, blocks on these big media sites, I would suggest do this manually. Go to choose. You see this little search bar here. If you type in Japan, you get a load of all the different servers in NordVPN. And let's just click on one. <coughs> and here we go. It's connecting to a Japanese VPN server. Now, it takes a few seconds to do that. But when, it, when it's finished, you'll have a, an encrypted tunnel between you and a server in Japan okay and basically all your traffic will be routed through that now the beauty is now any website I go to will think I'm in Japan okay so if I want to see the Japanese version of Netflix I can simply go to the site now and instead of getting the British version I will get the um, Japanese version this time now remember my traffic is routed through um, this remote server, so it sometimes add a, a little bit of a delay. Not too much. The Japanese um, VPN servers with Nord uh, are really fast, but if you're using some of the others, they can be quite slow. Okay, so now first it may look exactly the same, but if we start um, scrolling down, you'll see differences. You'll see different um, versions of um, shows, and here we go. You can show there's lots of Japanese, obviously famous for animation, so you'll get different um, programs here. So this is basically the Japanese version of Netflix, so you'll get different. Um, let me just show you one example there. Uh, this was saying Baby Driver. Here is a film that is not on UK Netflix anymore, I don't think. It was on. It's a good film, by the way. Uh, and um, it's on Japanese Netflix, apparently. And there'll, there'll be lots of differences, and you'll have lots of Japanese-based content. Just show you one of them. 
let's just stream this briefly to show you how quick it is uh, that's one of the crucial factors of choosing a vpn is that it's speed if you stream um media content through a very slow connection it'll just be painful to watch so nordvpn is one of the faster ones and you can see it's streaming perfectly well here netflix original uh this might actually be if it's a netflix original might be on other um uh versions of netflix i'm not sure i'll just stop it there show it's working and there you go so we're on the japanese version of netflix i could quit this i could go and connect to a u.s server u.s netflix is worth checking out if you're not in the u.s because it's the biggest uh, and watch the US version of Netflix, which is great. Sometimes there'll be different shows. Um, for instance, The Walking Dead, a uh, famous um, zombie series, uh, is much more up-to-date on US Netflix than it is on um, all the other versions, I believe. Okay, so that's basically it. That's how you can change uh, your Netflix country to anywhere in the world. Uh, there's uh, more information in the description below and there's also a link to um, a discount page if you decide NordVPN is the one for you to use. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.